What's going on guys? I am Kenny from Kenny's World and I would like to welcome you back to Heavy Rain. And now we see Ethan Mars sulking because, well, the sun was taken by the origami killers, so I can understand um, you know, him uh him being very upset. I'm just making sure that my program d doesn't stop re recording because it, 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 it did a couple of parts ago. So I was gonna make sure that it doesn't stop. So I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check every once in a while just to make sure that everything's good. <coughs> Show up in there, Ethan. When the parents came home from church, all uh, their note. children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. That's a rough reality. Hold on. Oh, a locker ticket? Just like that guy from the store had. He he had a locker ticket too. But what I have to get out of here and about? find out what this ticket is about. Well, yeah, I mean that. That would be the uh, be the thing I would do too. I would I was thinking that before you. With uh, man, there's fucking people over here. Oh what, no! What are you doing? Turn around! No! What are you? Turn around! There you go. Go to the door. Mr. Mars. Mr. Mars. A few words. Mr. Mars. Goddamn reporters! They've been camped outside my house all day. That's understandable. I mean, you know, you're the one who's uh stay. Well, actually, no, no, no. I got it. I, I, I got to leave. Fuck that. Mr. Mars. Mr. Mars. A few Mars. words. Mr. Mars. <laughs> I mean, like, honestly, come on. You got, you got to leave the man alone. Mr. Mars. His son was kidnapped for shit's sake. Son has disappeared. Do you think the origami the killer Mr. Mars. kidnapped him? Get another car. Exactly Mr. Mars. Did your son I'm going to walk straight Mars, to that car without stopping on the way. Are you worried your son might be dead? Do you suspect Jeez. anyone, Mr. Mars? Yeah. Are you fucking for real, dog? You lost your son Are you for car. real? How do you feel? Mr. Oh, Mars, geez. can you confirm that your son you has disappeared? Do you think your son is still alive? How exactly did your son Mr. disappear? Mars. Mr. Mars. Jeez. It's like... Mr. Mars, you, you would... words for ICN. No, you fuck ICN. ICN can go fuck a goat. Like, come on. Seriously, have some consideration for shit's sakes. I mean, my son was fucking kidnapped with the origami code. There's a very good chance he'll be dead within three days. So, like... Damn. Back away, back off, you know what I mean? Like, jeez, that's just rough. That actually pisses me off, and this is a freaking video game, but th that kind of thing would happen in real life, too, so. Where is this? Oh, are you, are you, are you bracking out again, dog? Ethan, you gotta get your shit. <laughs> you gotta get your shit together, man. You can't do this, man. Not now. Sean's life depends on it, bro. All right, gonna, here we go. Gonna have to make it through the crowd. I can't, well, can't yeah. take crowds. Just can't handle it. This isn't even a massive crowd. You know? Why are you walking in slow motion, dog? Oh, because he's about to pass out, probably. Uh -huh. I can't make it. Yeah, I was gonna Too say. Many Too many people. Oh, come on, man. You can do it. Muscle through. Muscle through. Muscle through. We, we'll do it together, man. One step at a time, bro. One step at a time. One step at a time. Come on. You can do it. Don't choke. Don't choke. Don't choke. No, 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 no. I fucked up. I fucked up. That was my. That was my fault. That was my fault. I apologize, Eddie. It won't happen again. It won't happen again. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Go on. Go on. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Come on. R1. L1. Come on, man. We can do this. We can do this, man. We can do this. Come on. Imagine walking through that place and you see a guy walking around with his hands around his neck and shit. I'd be like, I'd be worried. I'd, I'd be like, yo, you okay, dude? The hell just happened.
What's going on here? Dad. Dad. I don't remember I don't remember this at all. This is kind of freaky. Oh. Dad, where are you? Jason? Jason. Jason! Watch Dad. out, folks. Jason! Jason! Now what's he, now what's it gonna be when I get there? Dad. I'm right here, man. I'm literally right behind you. Jason! Oh my goodness. This is surreal. This is like holy crap, this is like this is like a nightmare, man. What's going on? Jason! Oh man. <laughs> this game is uh this game the the doesn't fuck around with the fuels department, bro. Every time I get to him he disappears. Where where'd you go now, bro? Jason! Where'd you go now? I lost Dad. you. Yeah, where? There you are. There's the Jason. balloon. Oh, jeez. All these people. What the hell? Dad. What the hell? <coughs> what the hell just happened? I'm confused. I'm like penguin on a pole with a lollipop confused. Okay, luggage lockers. Alright. Come on, man. Let's, let's find this locker. Line 18, box number 3. Line 18, box number 3. Got it. There we go. Here's the locker. Alright, what's in here, man? Shoe box, just like that, just like, just like Reza's dad got. What's in there? Watch, there's like a deflated balloon or something. I'd be fucked up. Open it, bro. What? What are you worried about, man? Crossroad Motel. Okay. What you doing, man? We gotta open, yeah. We gotta open that shoe box. We gotta find out what's in there, man. It could, it, it, it could hold vital information as to where Sean is. Get up. Let's waste no time, man. You gotta, you gotta go over there. You gotta do this. Let's do it. Let's find out what's in here. Did I see a gun? I did see a gun. A gun, a cell phone, more origami. And one of those lizard thingies. What? What? A money, a camera, a gun. Let's check all those out. This this gun has me a little uh. Are you prepared to show courage to save your son? Joe's garage, parking lot, the 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 that for that. Huh. To show show courage? What kind of courage is this guy talking about? What's this? A memory card of some sort? Play video? Oh, wow. Dad. Sean. Where are you? Oh, shit. I'm so cold. Dad. Dad. Oh, that's just fucked up. 
How far are you prepared to go to save someone you love? Oh man, this guy who did this is a douche. Five original, five origami figures. Each figure is a trial. Each trial provides letters. The letters re re reveal an address. Jeez, this is this is this is too far. This is this is way too far. Like what? Are you kidding me? Oh man, yo, yo. <coughs> Holy crap! I was. Oh man. So it looks like we gotta do objectives, and then after each objective, we'll get an origami figure, and then that'll tell us the next part of the address, and then we gotta go to the address to save Sean. Damn, this is a. Uh, this is probably gonna get pretty hectic. Now we're playing as Norman Jaden. Um. Let's the see what this is, white, is all about. Age between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he, he kill them if he doesn't have point. anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? It builds up a profile of the killer and helps us understand the person we're looking for. It might have been useful that, if it was done earlier in this investigation. That didn't sound aggressive Continue, to me. Jayden. <laughs> One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take ten percent. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be mm. that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. Then I it's studied a very the creative method of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment, about 10 square mile. Ah, oh, great. There must be 10,000 people living in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? Fuck off, dude. Aggressive, baby. It may not baby. give us the address of the killer, but at least it's something to go on. Blake, if you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't be shy. <laughs> I'm all ears. So what's next? <laughs> this there are guy two suspects whose psychological like, profile this, man. might you fit and together. connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Ah, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, and we gotta get off our asses and find him. The killer is no ordinary mm. murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, yeah. Jaden, did you get your fast experience on the job, or did you just fucking Can read I tackle about it in this some guy? school book? Calm down, I came calm here down. to find a killer, and that is exactly what I'm gonna do, with or without your fucking help. Fucking asshole! That's enough. Fucking asshole! <laughs> You're the one that's big and a fucking asshole, said bro. said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much yeah. time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. Shit. Jeez, this is about to get really fucking good. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Alright, you know, I'm going to save the investigation for, for, for the next episode, so sorry guys, but this is this is getting really good, so. Um, so click uh, l l like and favorite this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe today to join the planet of Kenny, and uh, until next time guys, we're going to play more Heavy Rain, 
more this, more that, more everything. Till next time, guys, I am out. Bye-bye!